Are you spending hours trying to market your product, but it feels like you're just shouting into the void? Or maybe you've launched campaign after campaign, but still, crickets? It's frustrating, right? Finding the right customers can feel impossible, but it doesn't have to be. In today's video, we're making it super easy to pinpoint your perfect target customer, no complicated strategies, no confusion. By the end, you'll have a clear idea of who you should be talking to, where to find them, and what they actually care about. Stick around, because this is going to change how you approach your business. Let me tell you about my friend Sarah. She started a beautiful handmade jewelry business, pouring her heart into each piece. But after months of promoting her products, she was still stuck with piles of inventory and barely any sales. It felt like she was throwing money down the drain with ads that didn't seem to connect with anyone. One day, she decided to take a step back and really think about who would love her jewelry the most. She realized her ideal customers were actually busy professionals looking for unique accessories to brighten up their work outfits. Once she focused her marketing on that audience, everything changed. Her social media posts started getting likes and shares, and her sales took off. Sarah's story is a perfect example of how discovering your target customer can completely transform your business. It's not just about selling a product, it's about connecting with the right people who truly appreciate what you have to offer. Let's break it down into three simple steps to help you find your perfect target customer. First up, who are you helping? Start by thinking about your customer's demographics, age, gender, location, and their pain points. For instance, if you sell fitness gear, your ideal customer might be busy moms looking for quick workout solutions. To narrow it down, create a customer profile that outlines their interests, challenges, and goals. You can use tools like Google Analytics or Social Media Insights to gather data on your existing audience. Next, where are they? Once you know who they are, figure out where they hang out online. Are they scrolling through Instagram, networking on LinkedIn, or browsing Pinterest? For example, if your audience is visual and loves aesthetics, platforms like Instagram and Pinterest are perfect for showcasing your products. Use hashtags and join relevant groups to connect with them directly. Finally, what do they care about? align your messaging with their needs and desires. What problems are they trying to solve? Craft your content to speak directly to those issues. For example, if your ideal customer is focused on eco-friendly products, highlight the sustainable aspects of what you offer. Tools like surveys or polls can also help you understand what your audience values. By following these steps, you'll be well on your way to finding the customers who will love your brand. Now, I want you to make this interactive. After each step, Take a moment to pause the video and apply what you've learned to your own business. For the first step, grab a pen and paper or open up a document to fill out a quick customer profile worksheet. Jot down the demographics and pain points of your ideal customer. Don't overthink it, just get your ideas down. Once you've nailed that, pause again after the second step. Make a list of platforms where your audience hangs out. Which social media channels or online communities should you focus on? Finally, after the third step, take a moment to write down what your customers truly care about. Think about how you can align your messaging to address their needs. This little exercise will make the concept stick and help you create a clear roadmap for reaching your perfect target customer. So, go ahead, pause now and get started. Let's look at some real-world examples to inspire you. Take Nike, for instance. They've nailed their customer targeting by focusing on athletes and fitness enthusiasts. Their campaigns resonate deeply because they understand their audience's passion for sports and performance. On the smaller side, there's Glossier, a beauty brand that started as a blog. They listened to their audience and created products based on what their community wanted. By engaging directly with their customers, they built a loyal following that feels connected to the brand. These success stories show that when you truly understand your target customer, you can create meaningful connections that lead to growth. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Share your experiences or struggles in finding your target audience in the comments below. I'm here to help you refine your ideal customer profile. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tips on growing your business.